In this question, you are being asked which of the following statements are correct. The first statement is that capitalised development expenditure must be amortised over a period not exceeding five years. The second statement says that capital development costs are shown in the statement of financial position under the heading of non-current assets. And then the third statement is that if certain criteria are met, research expenditure must be recognised as an intangible asset. In order to answer this question, you will require your knowledge from IAS 38, the standard that gives us advice on intangible assets. The information given to us in the question relates to research and development costs. These costs are split between what's included as a non-current asset and what should be included as an expense in the Statement of Profit and Loss. IAS 38 tells us that development expenditure should be included as a non-current asset if it meets the specific criteria of the standard. It should then be amortised over its expected life. The costs to be expensed include research costs plus any development costs that do not meet the criteria. Therefore, looking at the statements that we have to choose from, we can see that the first one, that capitalised development expenditure must be amortised over a period not exceeding five years, cannot possibly be accurate, because if our development expenditure needs to be amortised over its expected life, this could be longer than that time. The second statement, that capitalised development costs are shown in the Statement of Financial Position under the heading of non-current assets. This is a correct statement. And then the final statement says that if certain criteria are met, research expenditure must be recognised as an intangible asset. Again, based on the requirements of IS 38, we know that research costs should always be expensed. And therefore, our answer must be the second option, statement number two only.